Hi guys, it's Mary. Talk to me Tuesday, Tuesday, April 6, 2021. And, um, you're not even going to believe this. I plan to finish four quilt tops this week. And, um, I have finished one, two, and we'll finish the third one tonight. And then hopefully the fourth one tomorrow. So the first one is um, I'm having trouble photographing this morning. I'm just whining about it. Um, this one's big. It's from the Project Linus, the latest Project Linus one called Stringing Me Along, and it's done with it's string quilting, paper paper piecing. Um, I got, I hung a rod near my long arm on the, at the ceiling with little rings and hooks so that I can photograph quilts and it's way, way over at Molly's house and it's three whole blocks away and I don't want to go over there right now. And so it's a bright sunny day and I thought I would just hang this on the fence and it's too tall so I was hanging it sideways and it's my neighbor's fence and it turns out that the fence is a lot harder redwood than I thought and I, it's windy and it, every, every place I got it connected it started falling and there was mud underneath it and so I called it quits and my, I, Climbed up on my design wall here and started hanging it in the design wall called Uncle because it's too heavy. And um, so anyway, you can't see the whole thing. And obviously with these new quilt tops and all the other quilt tops I've been finishing lately, I'm going to need to get over to Molly's house, do some quilting, and I will put this up on the wall and get a picture of it. Hopefully this week, but um, not today. So here's my stringing along. And what happened was the instruct it's a mystery, so but it's like a one clue mystery. So the instructions were to get a um charm pack, no layer cake, and a coordinating fabric. Well they either didn't say or I missed that you need another coordinating or contrasting color. Anyway, I it I'm I probably misread it. So I got a layer cake, which is everything but this. All of these great little colors in here. And I thought they went well together. And then I coordinated this um, great fabric here. And um, then the glue came out. And I realized two things. One is this should have been contrasting instead of coordinating. And there was a need for these X's. You see the X's in there? So here's a corner. Um, this is Moda's Color of the Year for 2021. I got five yards of it. And I'm putting it in everything that I can in 2021. There's certain things I can't. And so it is in my year of doom. It is in other several other things. It is not in things that it would not go in. So I'm using it up and um, I, I don't know why I decided to buy five yards of the color of the year for 2021, but I'm using the heck out of it. And so uh, I thought there's blue in here. It really is. I mean, it's, it's every now and then, but um, there's some blue. So anyway, this is the block, and there are two, six of them. So if you count the block as four of these piece blocks, then there are six of these, so there are 24 of these, six of these, and it's two across, three down, and that's what it looks like. And then the border is um, pieced from the same layer cakes and this inner border. So it's got the three borders on it. So anyway, I'm happy with it. Um, came together real fast and I didn't even feel it because it was my between project for two things that I was having a lot of fun with. And so I, it just, 
all of a sudden, it, every, every time I paced something, I was doing this, and, and all of a sudden, I'm like, wow, I, I'm running out of blocks here. And then um, suddenly the borders were on, and it was done. So it was a quite painless operation. It's, it's pretty big, as you can see. Um, these are... 8 inch squares. The pieced ones are 8 inches, obviously, so it'll fit on the printer. And so um, this is going to be, well, 8 plus the inner border um, plus 8 more. So that's an 18 inch block times plus 36, 37, 30. So it's 38 before the 38 wide before the borders. So it, it's a good size quilt, and like I said, I'm happy with it. And if you can see this much of it, and imagine the other four corners. Oh, the other four corners aren't the same. Let me tell you what happened. First off, this is the first. I, I've been paper piecing since college. This is the first paper piecing I have ever ever done where I cut all the pieces first. It was in the instructions. I had the layer cakes. I didn't want to get confused with each, each one of these strings is a different size, different length, different width. And so I didn't want to I didn't want to use my layer cakes wrong. And so in between each of the layer cakes there's one of these. And that's what's not showing up because it's a um, complementary and not contrast color. Anyway, I cut them all. I just I got the I got the clue. I started cutting, and there we were. They were all cut. And so this is the first time ever that I've cut one. And um, it might have gone a little bit faster, but the time I saved probably was spent cutting. So I think it's kind of a wash there. Um, and I probably used a little more fabric cutting at first because there was wiggle room because, you know, they're beginners in this. And so, um, I, you know, how I feel about that is kind of, eh. But, um, my point is, this is also the first quilt. See these, see these miter corners? And I just mitered these. These were square, and then I thought, since that's square, I don't want to miter again. So, I this is not in the pattern. I I prefer mitered corners because I find them easier. Um, I prefer them because I like the way they look, and I've been doing mitered corners since high school. I prefer them, so I do them a lot. This is the very very first time I have cut a mitered corner wrong. So, I'm mitering my very first corner, which is over there, and I mean, I cut these in my sleep. Yeah, I was on my first cup of coffee, but come on. I, I don't measure. I don't get out the instructions. I, I fold this in half. I cut it with my ruler, and there you have it. Well, I cut the one side, I cut the other side, and I'm going to my machine to miter this border on. And I get to my machine, and at this corner, instead of this line going up and this line going up, they both went down. So I had cut off the top of my corner. Oh my god. So that meant I was going to have to recut these are two pieces each. I was going to have to recut one of these, one of these, sew them on there, take it off of here, sew it back on here. And I thought, nope, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. So on the upper left corner and the lower right corner, I don't have mitered. Well, I think I do have mitered corners, but they look like this. And you know what? I am perfectly happy with that. Then I thought about making all four of them like that, but it's a little bit of work. And so um, there you have it. Um, I'm happy with it. So there you go. So that one is finished, ready to go over to Molly. The second one I have is also finished. And it's one I designed. Now, this was a... Um, 
This ties into the one I'm going to finish by the end of the week. <clears throat> I took a free EQ8 lesson from EQ8 by Carrie Shaw, who is the greatest um, EQ8 instructor. And it was a spring fever quilt. And what she did was she had us she had us design. It went by. It was like a two week class or something. It went by fast. Every couple of days, we're like, "Here's your new book." Um, so we made a, a tulip and a and a kite and a um, chick and flowers and things like that. An umbrella. And um, so we learned how to each, each of the blocks. It, it was a paper piecing EQ8 class. So each of the blocks had a different little skill in there for drawing and and that kind of thing and then apparently not a lot of people sew these things they're taking it for the for the uh class and so i didn't know that so i'm like each each week i'm like i'm sewing these things out well the flowers were tiny 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 there were four of them everything else had one and there were four of these two inch flowers and um so that week i tried to make one and i just i didn't like how it came out i didn't line it up and i can make them of course it's going to take a little more patience so as we're designing this i i just didn't didn't do the flowers so i have everything pieced except the flowers and then we get to the end where we put it all together on a, a wall hanging which i think hers was something like 11 by 18 and she ended up just 11 by 14 she ended up framing it and it was really cute but small for having all this stuff in it so i have that one designed and i have all of the all but the flowers pieced and so before the reveal of her design she said play with it so i played with it and i um came up with my own design which i really really like and um all i have to do to finish that one this week is sew those four dang flowers I'm thinking about redesigning them and making them easier. I'm just going to do it. They're adorable. So I'm going to sew the four flowers, finish putting the um, wall hanging together, and that's going to be finished. However, while we're cruising along, I'm loving this design. Um, <clears throat> I'm liking what we're learning, and, it, and it's a great class. Great new skills, but... Um, I, I was just loving the design and I got this idea in my head two ideas in my head you know how I don't know if you do this but sometimes you wake up in the morning and you just you have this idea and you just have to do it or it's just gonna stay in your head and so I didn't really think I would um, stitch it I thought I could satisfy this idea these two ideas in my head just by designing it which usually does it and so um, my idea was A, and, and they didn't converge right away. My first idea was, wouldn't this be cute if you doubled the size of it? If that four inch flower was an eight inch flower, or a, it's a two inch flower, if that two inch flower was a four inch flower, wouldn't it be easier? Yeah, it would. And so I uh, started doubling the size of the pieces that I had they were coming together cute it, it, it was it was a new project which I'm not doing these days unless I'm gonna just finish them right away so only I, I've committed to so many projects this year that I'm just not I have so many I already have on my list for the year that I can't really do new ones so here I am starting a new project but I wasn't gonna quilt it well art piece it so it came together real cute and then the other when the other ideas started coming to the forefront um i realized it was the same quote the other idea was it was that week where it was real icy here and it was gloomy and it was really cold and um it was gray outside and um i have a window right here i look out of and so i thought maybe if I took all my blacks and grays and made all these springy things out of blacks and grays and then I um, put a splash of color probably a solid spring color 
and one section of the piecing of each one. Then it would be like, I call it spring with a touch of color. And it would be kind of like the slow spring we had coming on. Now, within two weeks, the azaleas were in full bloom. And then a week later, a wind came through and all the azalea, bl azalea blossoms are gone. So that was kind of a pathetic, beautiful spring. But anyway, um, so that started becoming really pretty and really nice. And, and by the time we got the last design um, lesson done, it had come together nicely. And so then I have this small, colorful spring one, and then I have one twice as big that is, um, it's actually more than twice as big because I put more background in it, and that is um, spring with a touch of color. That's the one I finished yesterday. So um, I'm really happy with it. Now let me point out that both of these spring ones I decided that the background I'm using for my year of doom was perfect for it. It's it's yellow with a sparkly silver running through it that you can't see on camera. And I thought, I've got tons of that. Well, of course, by the time I'm working on year of doom, and I'm still working on three or four other things at the same time, by the time I'm working on year of doom and two spring quilts with the same backing it became clear I needed more backing I had to order some more and it did come in and I'm happy about that so anyway don't worry about the backing background I now have plenty so this is my spring that I did in the blacks and grays so it is really stringy this is one of those four crazy flowers that is four inches gonna be two inches can you see that yellow yeah pretty um, this is, this could be two inches in the one you see next week. So we have four of these flowers. Then we have the word spring. This, this flower has the purple. This one has the pink, obviously. And I did miss in my design, this should be cut off in a little triangle there. And I did it in both sizes and I pieced it before I realized it. So it's staying there. So I meant to do that. So then there's an element of the spring, and then there's the kite, the umbrella, three more flowers, the chick, the tulip, and look at those bees. Are they too cute or what? So I did take a picture of this. It was easy to hang on the design wall, and, and, and then I'm going to bind it in black. And I'm going to put a big, I have a, I have a quilt design in my head, and I'm pretty sure I have it, but I am getting a package of designs from Wasatch tomorrow, and if they have something springy, I might use that on this. Anyway, and if anybody has any suggestions, I want something swirly on this, an edge to edge. If anybody has a suggestion for that, throw it at me, because... I think I would be satisfied with almost anything on that that's swirly. Um, it does have some feathers in some of the borders, but I don't know if I want to put a feather on it. Anyway, if just if some ideas come to you, let me know. So anyway, here's my second finish. And then the third one I'm going to show you, even though it's almost finished, and that's because I won't have it next week. I told you last week that some friends of mine in Minnesota lost their son, and I'm just, I'm just, my heart is just hurting, and I had to, she makes more beautiful cards than I do, so that wasn't going to do, a card was never going to do, so I did what I did, I designed a, designed a while hanging in his memory, and it's, it's something that's in kind of in their style and I um, I did design it I did piece it I will put an original quilting design on it and but I will get that in the get this in the mail before um, before <clears throat> next Tuesday so anyway here's the design and I'm showing you this just because I've, I've done the entire center. I haven't done the edge. It finishes at 34 by 34. Now, 
Those who recall geometry will know that when you take this block and do this with it and make this block and this block the same size, these two blocks are not the same size. This is why I love EQ8 and this is why it's totally worth the money because I could have done a formula to figure that out. I could have I could have designed it on graph paper. I would have had to do it at scale because I would want to very, very accurately measure that and to see how it differs from that. But EQ8 just did it. Um, so anyway, here's the pattern. Um, I'm happy with it. That is a... Looks like a two-inch border. I don't know. Um, but but here's where you can see it with my fabrics. Um, I think it goes this way. Um, these are boutiques. It, it's got a, again, the threads. Anyway, the border will be this, and the binding will be this. It's got a little design on it. You can probably see it better than I can see it on my screen. Anyway, I'm happy with it. It's going to be, um, I think, I think a label on it will be more expressive than um, any words I can put in a cord. So I am happy with it. And again, I just wanted to show it to you before next Tuesday because I'm going to um, put that border on it, get it quilted and bound and get it in the mail. That's what I've been doing. Um, still working on Project of Doom. I'm stuck on Poirot. I love that Poirot block, block that Jennifer, I think Jennifer O designed it, the, um, the um, Art Deco one. Love it, but um, it's not an in-between project. And so I, um, I started it, but I've not finished it because I've had the in-between. Anyway, tomorrow, Today I'm going to get those borders on that one. Tomorrow I'm going to finish my small spring one and I'll show that to you because it's got the tiny flowers in it. Um, and then I will leave you with a photo of my um, spring with a touch of color. Good seeing you. Sorry this took so long, but I've been finishing things. I wanted to share that with you. So um, hope to see you soon.